Hi, my name is Jamie DeYoung and I created this video, IVT and MVT, for the course Math 135 at the University of Toronto. The topic is, of course, the Intermediate Value Theorem and the Mean Value Theorem. So if you aren't that familiar with these statements, then I recommend reading them before watching the rest of the video. The Intermediate Value Theorem can be found in section 2.5 of the textbook and the Mean Value Theorem is in section 4.2. So the purpose of this video is to go over a question that involves these topics. So the question is here, and before you watch the video, uh, the rest of the video where I'll solve the problem, I recommend that you first pause and read the problem and have a go at it yourself. And then once you've done that, you can resume watching the video and we'll be going through it. Okay, hopefully now you've had a go at this question and we'll now be looking at it together. So let's look at, start with the first part. So Alice is driving 50 kilometers along a straight road. She's uh, not moving at the beginning. So that's a key point. The starting speed is zero. And the end speed, according to the speeding camera at the end, is 80. And we're tasked with showing that Alice is traveling at 50 kilometers per hour at some point during the drive. So this is where the intermediate value theorem comes in. The intermediate value theorem says that you have to have a continuous function. Okay, so first we're going to need to define a function. So let's let x be the distance, that's the other variable we have, so we've got the distance from the start, sorry about that, and we also will have uh, a function telling us the speed. So s of x represents Alice's speed. So the question told us that this was continuous. So the IVT needs a continuous function and on a closed interval, okay, so we have an interval between uh, the start and end of her drive. So 0 and 50 kilometers. So this is a continuous function on the interval 0 to 50. Now we also need to know the speeds at each of those points. So we know from our initial information, the starting speed, s of 0, is 0. And the ending speed, s of 50, is 80. So a continuous function on a closed interval, we know the speed at the beginning, we know the speed at the end. The intermediate value theorem says that uh, every speed in between those values is obtained at some point on the interval. So by the IVT, there is a value on this interval. Where S of C equals 50 kilometers per hour. So because she started at a speed of 0 and finished at a speed of 80 and it's a continuous function, we know that at some point she hit a speed of 50 kilometers per hour and that's using the intermediate value theorem. Okay, so in the second part, Bob is making the same drive as Alice, so we know it's still 50 kilometers and he determines that the speed camera isn't working, so he doesn't actually know what speed he was traveling at the end, but he does know that the drive took him one hour. So in this case, we don't actually have information about speed 
the variables that we have, uh, distance and time. So, we'll let t represent uh, time. And let's do this in hours because we're asked about a speed in kilometers per hour. And then we want to define the distance in relation to time. So we'll let d of t represent Bob's distance from the starting point. Now, this is where the mean value theorem comes in, because we have distance and time, and we're interested in speed, and we know that that comes from differentiating uh, a function of distance. And we were given in the question that this function is continuous and differentiable. So we're looking at the mean value theorem. It says the function has to be continuous, which it is, on a closed interval. Okay, that's fine. We have a nice interval here. We have this interval of one hour. And it has to be differentiable on the open interval. That's satisfied. So that means that, according to the mean value theorem, there is a point C in our interval, which in this case is 0 to 1. Such that the derivative at C is the value of D at 1 minus the value of D at 0 divided by 1 minus 0. So this is our interval a, b. It's divided by b minus a. Now the distance after one hour, well, we know the entire drive took him an hour, so that's 50. The distance at zero hours, so at the beginning, well, he hadn't moved from his starting point, so that's zero. And this is divided by 1, so we get 50. So there exists a value, uh, some point, some number of minutes, um, a portion of the total hour, at which point the derivative of the distance function uh, gives us a value of 50. Now the derivative of the distance function is the velocity. So that means at time c, Bob was traveling 50 kilometers per hour. Okay, so we had slightly different information in each of these cases, but so one of them used the intermediate value theorem because we knew something about the speed. And in our second case, we didn't have speed information, but we did have information about the time taken. And so we were able to use the mean value theorem. So I'm going to leave you with a third follow-on question uh, to follow the first two. Alice and Bob are now having a race along the same road. The race ends in a tie. And your task is to show that at some point during the race, Alice and Bob were traveling at the same speed. If you have any questions, feel free to come and talk to me in my office hours or to ask on Piazza. Thank you.